welcome to my quest guide for the 2003 members quest, the dig site. So there are no quest requirements to start this quest. The skills required, you will need 25 thieving, 10 agility and 10 herb law. Items required, you will need some charcoal, a cup of tea, an empty vial, two ropes and a cut or uncut opal. And I would also suggest bringing your archaeology journal for a quick teleport to the Farrock dig site. So to start this quest, you need to go to the exam centre in the southern part of the Varrock dig site and speak to an examiner. Go through the chat and then click accept quest. After you've gone through the chat, go out of the exam centre and north and into the main part of the Archaeology Guild and speak to Seth Minus. He should be next to the table, just north of the door, go through his chat. If you don't have a cup of tea, there is one on the table next to you. When you've gone through his chat and you've got the tea, head back down into the exam centre. Go inside and speak to one of the examiners again and they will give you an exam. So you can answer any question with any answer, it doesn't really matter, you will fail the exam anyway. So go through all the questions and then when you're done go out and just go west of the monolith which is in the centre and search the bushes. In the bushes you'll find a teddy bear, then head east to the soil screening area. And then there is a little tented area, like a little hut just south of the soil screening area with a panning tray in it. If you can't see it, turn your camera around, pick that up. And then just to the east of where you've picked it up, you'll see some bubbles like fishing spots. These are panning areas. So click to pan there and you'll be told that you can't do that yet. Go through the chat with the panning guide. And choose option two. So how do I become invited? Go through his chat and you'll hand him the cup of tea. And then you can click again to start panning. When it's full, click to search the panning tray and just keep going, repeating the panning and searching until you find a special cup. Once you find the special cup, we need to now get an animal skull. So if you run to the north, and go to the area just north of where the bank is now, and you'll see a dig site workman. Pickpocket him until you get an animal skull. Next you need to speak to Katrina who is the student with blonde hair right next to where the workman is and she will say she's lost her teddy bear. Talk to her again after the chat's over to hand over the teddy bear we found earlier. Then run to the southeast. So the next area just to the southeast. You need to go in here and speak to Dorian. Go through Dorian's chat.
I'll then speak to him again once the chat is over. And then next we need to run to the west and speak to one more student. So run north of the building where the bank is. Just northwest of that there's another area and find Eduardo. Speak to him and go through his chat. He's lost his animal school, so when it's finished, speak to him again to hand that over. Then go back to the exam centre. When you get to the exam centre, speak to one of the examiners again. And choose option one. Yes, I certainly am. And she'll go through the quiz route again. The answer to the first one is the study of the earth, its contents and history. For number two, all that have passed the appropriate earth sciences exam. And for question three, answer proper tools must be used. Once you've got your certificate, you need to go out and north again and speak to all three of the students. So just slightly northeast of the bank chest, go in and speak to Dorian. Once you've gone through his chat, go just northwest to the next area and speak to Katrina. And go through her chat. Once you've spoke to her, just to the southwest in the next area again and speak to Eduardo. Once you've spoke through all three of them, you need to head south and back to the exam centre again. So when you get to the exam centre, go down to the examiners and speak to them to start the next quiz choose option one i'm ready for the next exam and the answers are on screen so answer one samples taken in rough form kept only in sealed containers in question two fines must be carefully handled and question three always handle with care strike cleanly on its cleaving point you'll get your next certificate and now we need to do the same again. So head up, speak to all three students again. Go up and speak to Dorian first. Go through his chat. And then go up up to Katrina. When you speak to Katrina she will ask for an opal before she gives you any more answers. To hand over the opal. If you haven't brought one you can go back to the panning area because you, it's possible to get an opal from panning. You'll need to speak to her twice to hand over the opal and then Go and speak to Eduardo before heading back to the exam centre.
When you get back to the exam center, go down and speak to one of the examiners again. Choose option one, I'm ready for the last exam. And again, the answers are on screen. Answer one, samples cleaned and carried only in specimen jars. Answer two, brush carefully and slowly using short strokes. And answer three, handle bones very carefully and keep them away from other samples. So when you finish the exam, go out of the examination centre and head north. You need to head to the area where we spoke to Dorian before. That was the first of the students just northeast of the bank. When you get to that area, you will see a level three grid and click to excavate that. Keep excavating there until you find an ancient talisman. Any of the other junk you find, you can just uh, drop on the floor, disassemble, whatever you want. It's not needed. Can take a few tries before you get it, but eventually you should find an ancient talisman. Take the talisman back to the exam centre. And just in the southeast corner of the exam centre, you will see Terry Balando. Speak to him, go through his chat. and then head back out. Head back towards the area where we spoke to Dorian and we just excavated the talisman, but run to the northern side of it. Keep running north and you will see a winch click to operate that. You need to click it three times to do it completely and you will end up in a cave. So run to the east, you can see the location on the minimap and into that northeastern chamber. Now, if you search the sacks in the northeastern side of the room, you can take some charcoal if you didn't already bring some. If you click on the barrel to the eastern side, you can use the trowel to open it and then search the barrel and use a vial to collect some of the liquid, nitroglycerin, and then pick up one of the Arcania roots on the floor. Head back to the south and go to the entrance to the large chamber in the south side of the cave. Search the bricks block in the entrance. Pick any option and it will tell you that it doesn't work. So head back to the rope where we came in and climb back up the rope. And just to the west of this area, you can see on the minimap, 
near where Katrina was stood earlier, there is a second winch. So if you run over to that, then you can operate the other winch. So click to operate and use your rope, then click again and find yourself in another cave. Now speak to Doug Deeping, who's just inside the cave and choose option four, how can I move a large pile of rocks? Go through his chat and he'll give you a key. So head back up the rope you climb down. When you've climbed back up, head back to the east to the first winch. And click on that to climb down. And head back up into the room to the northeast. And click on the chest. Use the key to open the chest and search the chest for some ammonium nitrate. Next, right click on your charcoal to grind it. When you've done that, use the white ammonium nitrate powder you got from the chest on the vial of nitroglycerin to get some mixed chemicals. Add the ground charcoal to the mixed chemicals and then finally add the arcania root. So run south again to where the rocks were blocking entrance to the southern part of the cave. Click to search the rocks and choose to use the chemical compound. Then click to search the bricks again and choose the tinder box. Go through the chat and then head back down into the south part of the cave and click to take the stone tablet in the center. Head back out of the cave and up the rope. And then head south back to the exam centre. Once you get to the exam centre, you need to speak to Terry Bolando again, who is in the southeastern corner of the exam centre. Go through his chat and that will be quest complete. So for completing this dig site quest, you will get two quest points, 15,300 mining XP, 2,000 herblore XP, two gold bars, the ability to clean specimens for the Varrock Museum for Kudo. So after the quest, if you speak to Terry Bolando again with 75 attack, magic or range or 91 constitution, you will get the Codex Ultimus, which unlocks blood tendrils, shadow tendrils and smoke tendrils and the ultimate ability Ice Asylum. So well done on quest complete.